Wow, look at that room tilt. <laughs> Welcome back to Eternal Darkness. Let's check out this next chapter page. I always say that, don't I? My education in psychiatry did not prepare me. I would love to see how Freud's view of his mother would change with the knowledge of Chaturga. How Skinner would incorporate Zelotath into his behaviorist theories. How Jung would accommodate Ulioth into his theory of the collective unconscious. Like my ancestor, Maximilian, I too had an interest in my family tree. As a psychiatrist, I believe that science could provide answers into my family's sordid, bizarre past. It was with great excitement that I began my search. The mansion's history was filled with my colorful predecessors. Everything from convicted and hung witches to committed madmen, each laying their own peculiar mark on its character. I intended to find their secrets. Now that we've got all that out of the way, Edward Roivas is Alex's grandfather, and he is played by Neil Dixon, and he has been the guy who's been voicing over all of the sections we've read so far. You may have noticed last chapter that we got the two-handed sword for a third time. And here we're welcomed by the saber, which is the same weapon that Maxwell had in his chapter. This is probably the most annoying chapter of the game due to its length um, and also the fact that you can't really save after a certain point, which we'll get to very shortly. Without the tome, that's just a silly little piece of paper.
are humanity's only hope. Destroy the Guardians, Edward, and avenge my waste. Here's where the fun of this chapter begins. Oh, man. The magical pool spell refills whichever alignment that you uh, set it to, plus all three if you do it under Mantrox. that just attacked her is called the vampire and we cannot save the game again until it's dead so man that just getting punched at by bitches playing pretty much a waiting game. You have to wait for the vampire to show up, and when you see the cutscene showing where it is, you go where it is and just beat the shit out of it. Looks like that got us nowhere. Saving him got us the gun key, but we didn't do any damage to it. It healed itself down in the basement at that, uh, room... gravestone, whatever you want to call that thing. So now we wait around for it to come back again. Might as well check out what that gun key has in store for us. While we're raiding around, we might as well go talk to the help, see how they're doing. Wait a second, what was that? Fighting this is really tedious, as you can tell.
Saving that guy would have been pointless if we hadn't saved the first guy. But it's nice to get more ammunition for that elephant gun if we want to use it. Again, got nothing else to do. Let's take a walk around the house. Wonder what happened there. Looks like the stained glass window is fixed too. This is the bathroom we found Edward's chapter page in, and it's completely different. <laughs> Idle chit-chat, the weather? Yeah, we seriously, I don't, just nothing to do. actually defeat him because we're missing the top half of the basement key and we can't get down there to sap him from his power source. Careful, she might have been ready to attack. Because of how small Edward's health bar is, you do not want to mess around during this battle. Casting a shield, enchanting your weapon, all of that must be done. Plus a reveal invisible spell since this guy is invisible. him first, you'll do no damage, obviously, he'll just heal himself. So whack at this thing a few times, get it down, and go to town. Just remember too, there was no way to save during any of that. Our final summon spell and it just requires two more pargons and the zombie spell. None of those spells can be aligned with Mantrock also, I don't know if I said that yet. Here we are. 
are going down deep into the bowels of Enga. Just a lot of sound and fury signifying nothing. Before, there are only really a few bosses in this game, and this isn't really even technically a boss, but this can be way harder than the last thing we tried to fight. Our sanity is already at like zero, and if we lose any more sanity, it's going to start sapping our health. We cannot afford that with Edward's such a short health bar here. elephant gun, we might as well show off what it does. That's a huge gun, and if you try and fire before Edward stops swinging the rifle around, you fall right on your ass just like that. No! how difficult this battle can be. Like right now, we can't see the end of the screen because of the camera angle. so small a five point spell is great and kind of getting hit there didn't even matter because it was there was so much left to fill still actually leave without killing this guy. But as you'll see, we're, we're about to be walking in circles for a while, and every step we take would take us right back through this room, and we don't want to mess with not being safe. 